Gooders later in the episode. But first up, we take on Vault City's Iron Brew Beer, which yes, I'm sir. sure offers up a unique taste fusion of Gooders and copyright infringement. Let's not waste any more time and crack this can wide open. It's Iron Brew! Sour. Strong and irony. Iron Brew Sour. Is that better? Andy, can, who were you trying to be? Who were you channeling? You! <laughs> I feel like some come from the last of the summer wine, that filthy bite. <laughs> Is that... That's a very specific reference. Can. <laughs> Which episode is that? Which season? I need to go back. I need to go back to that. Um, so, yeah, do you want to crack this bad boy open? Yes. Let's do it. Um, I cannot wait. I know these have been sat in the fridge for a wee while. Long time, man. Long time. But tonight is the night. <laughs> Woo! Oh, it's got that smell. Smell. Oh, well, like piss and rice pudding. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? What is uh, that? So yes, this is a controversial drink. <laughs> I'll warn you now. This is actually my second tin. Oh, you have had this before. Yeah, I decided to try it a few weeks ago. Ah, oh, you cheeky bugger, doing it without me. I'm, I'm heartbroken. When I was in Edinburgh for the the Belfield brewery tour oh i'm sorry we've turned into home and away for a second <laughs> it's a ratio here um i stopped into the wee bottle no the wee vault which is a bottle shop uh, near haymarket mm. and I, I believe it's just some sort of bottle shop but it's from the the vault city crew now so i guess it's just one there it's a tiny tiny little tap room which has uh, more taps than seats, I believe. I think there was 10 stools ah, okay. and 24 beards on tap. I like that ratio. So, and it says, I believe it was just near enough all of their stuff. Like, and of course, that is, to, as far as I know, the only place that still is slinging Iron Brew. So. So it I seems to, to be fairly hard to find or a bit um, rare to find? It, I feel like it... it it was like the the sour of the week back in ah, okay. I don't know was it February so or or it was lining up with Burns night so it came out then and obviously I feel like they have a new beer it was apple sewers last week that apple kind of line. sewers yes apple apple sewers as like an underground as in like sour but West. also maybe. A word play with that uh, drink they used to take shots of apple sewers sewers s o u r z sours yeah so yeah but they done sewer so it was another play on words uh, you had iron brew they have apple sewers and they were just like a blinding green sour beer Ah, and okay came out around the same week as st patrick's day so like they've got their nice. sort of market into a tea like they know when to release like a a themed beer, whereas like man, ah, oh, I should really take a picture of beer for Instagram on St Patrick's Day. Wait, th this beer's fucking brighter than the Green Lantern. I'll get you. <laughs> Fle fluorescent. Yeah, I got confused. I thought you meant uh like sewers. Not from the sewer. No. I thought that you they meant they're only scooping shit out the river. <laughs> and then I, th I thought that the the green colour to it might be in tribute to the ooze that created the Ninja, Ninja Turtles. Turtles. No. That was, was that pink? I think actually, uh, in hindsight. Yeah, it was definitely another <laughs> fluorescent colour. Guys, no Turtles affiliation at all tonight. It's beer, just to confirm. Um, I'm excited. Um, do you, uh, oh no, sorry, well, have you had any Vault City stuff in the past, aside yeah, from this one? I've had two. One of them was a a beer fifty two beer, and I think we've we've discussed that on a future episode. And I had one of their pina colada sours, which was very tropical. Um, but it's the fine line of sours. Like when sour is like a very distant cousin of beer, I believe. Yeah, I would love to kind of see how they brew their beers. In comparison dollars because i feel sours a completely different beast itself 
it kind of definitely it's the the faint line between sort of like going into cider territory and beer definitely yeah it's definitely a fine line for sure mm-hmm. i mean this is this i was gonna say this has got like a cidery kind of wheat I mean, beer kind of vibe to it the in hazy terms of smell orange for me. color down oh definitely that definitely looks like iron brew yeah i think i do remember you mentioned that full city beer um mm-hmm. but with our recording schedule at the moment the way it is i mean it's it's a bit topsy-turvy so forgive me Stu, or i might have just not been listening to you that's definitely either way either way it was acceptable um, i believe uh, it tastes as blinking beer you want to do you want to do it now we are a beer podcast it makes Cheers. sense it's a good fit for us Cheers, <laughs> Jeff. Hmm. It's okay. different, isn't it? Okay, okay. It's it's got it's definitely got the iron brew flavour. Mm-hmm. It's obviously a lot more sour than, yeah. than iron brew is. It tastes like what's the fizzy chewy bars you get? Oh, you know sort of like the iron brew chews. Yeah, yeah. Well, yes, yeah. Of course. Sorry. Yeah, because mm. I know you can get the Vimto ones. Yeah, I think it was like you brew chews or something, but it is. Where it would just be wrapped in plastic, and it's just like a little strip, almost like the the ruler you would get in primary school. Yeah, like, but like that kind of length of bright orange. <laughs> yeah, like stretchy but teeth breakingly <laughs> hard. Yeah, you take a bite and then just stretch right. it, and you get little lose, fangs and lose a molar. Mm, um, that's it. it would strip you of your fillings, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it is something else that that was based on. I think, I think there are variations of this particular sweet that I am yeah. thinking of. That like, is how you would get like a refresher. How it would be like on a lolly. Yeah. Kind yeah. of similar vibe. Yeah, it's, it's kind of got your old different. school sweet vibe to it. Definitely got old school kind of tangy sweet vibe to it. Mm. It's interesting. I'm not against it at no. all. It doesn't taste much like beer to me, but well, that's that's it's going where down. The line blurs when it becomes sour, sour territory. Yeah, I mean, of course. We classed the that cherry Bacchus beer as yeah. well. That was a well, that was a cherry beer, but that was like again. that was that was a sour, and that was mm-hmm. um, that was really good, and I enjoyed it. But again, didn't taste like a beer, you know, at all to me. See that? That's it. And I know. Let's see. When I tried it last month, I, I kind of had the same feeling as I had now, and then shared the tin with my wife. So I just left half a tin, went back to watching TV, and it was about ten minutes later. I was like, "Oh Jesus, no, 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 no! You can have that. You can have that." <laughs> and so we'd been drinking beer all day at, at, at Belfield, so it's I think she became accustomed to what beers like. This is what beer should be tasting like. Take a drink of this. I'm like, wait, this is like sugary flat cider but really really <laughs> sour what's going on and just like no no i am not a sour person <laughs> so. yeah that, that that's a little bit different i suppose especially after a bunch of beers uh, it could be a yeah, bit hard on the day stomach drinking, really like lager and pilsners so yeah it's a bit it's a bit of a different um so thing to come across of this fruity and sour at the if back you, if you weren't expecting it yeah Ooh, coming out of nowhere um right so sitting at a flirty 5.5 percent we have iron brew sour from vault city brewing based in portello edinburgh these guys were founded back in 2018 so uh fairly new to the biz by stephen smith and johnny horn Con- concentrating initially good job good save on small How's batches stick, of beer to the script for scotland <laughs> wasn't long before the brews hit the uk and they were soon to be the golden boys of the international beer festival circuit with a breakout appearance at that year's beaver town extravaganza <laughs> sounds like a hoot um it was the elderflower sour and mango sour beers that broke them uh, into the mainstream and they seemed to concentrate on the pudding or dessert side of beer making with their catalog mm-hmm. stuffed with such brews as pineapple upside down cake oh yes 
guava banana banoffee toffee smoothie. Wow. <laughs> and the 10.5% fruits of the forest triple stack breakfast waffle. Ah, yes. These... I believe that one was on tap. <laughs> these, <laughs> these lads love to get a little fruity, I tell you. Mm. Um, like, the percentages vary. Like, I think that I, waffle like, one was high. Say. Yeah. You, I can't imagine getting pissed off a breakfast beer. Man, you're getting into but the dessert wine possibly. territory <laughs> <laughs> at this point. Madness. Um... <laughs> so, Tom, what do you think so... of this beer? You know, it's made from girders. Uh, it's not. It's not bad. Not bad drink at all. Again, if I'm gonna go and uh, go for a beer and drink a beer, it's not normally something that I would pick. But much like the the Bacchus, is it? That we and, discussed earlier. It's it's an enjoyable beverage. It it, it stands on its own as as mm. a sour sour beer, and um, it's. It, I mean, if you want a beer that tastes like Iron Brew, this is mm-hmm. it, my friends. If you want to get pissed off Iron Brew, you you'll get there eventually. This um, is it. Yeah, this almost got it's almost got like wheat beer kind of, not wheat beer like that maybe Belgian beer kind of aftertaste to it. Mm-hmm. It might be a stretch, but that's the closest thing, or the closest kind of, uh, I don't know, normal beer or closest kind of standard beer that I can think of that I would liken it to. Yeah, and uh, I'm not sure if you've read the description on the can. Like, also, these guys have a little sense of humour, like most craft breweries tiny. always <laughs> tend to. But could you read the ingredients for our audience? Oh, we get uh, the orange paragraph at the bottom. Oh, televisions, bicycles, refrigerators, nope, telephones, and golf. That's orange. Are you weird. colorblind? Um, orange. Sorry, I haven't got... The orange writing. I haven't got my glasses on. Would you like um, me to read it? Got the us? vision of a dog. Uh, malted barley. That makes yep. sense. Oh, wheat. There you go. Yep. Oats. Iron brew. That would make sense. Mm-hmm. Yeast hops. Ogre malty. Mm-hmm. B. Yeah. I've won. Yep. Oh, I'm bro. Mm-hmm. They didn't mention that. Hublon. Yep. Don't know what any of these things are. Livere. Mm-hmm. Cibada Maltida. Mm-hmm. Trigo. Yep. Avena. <laughs> I am bro. Yep. Lipolo. Mm-hmm. Levadura. Gerson. Go on. Power through it. Weizen. Hafer. <laughs> Iron Brew. I think they're starting to take the piss now. Yeah. <laughs> Hopfen. Yep. Hefe. Yep. Mm, shouldn't speak about my ex like that. Mullet. Mullet. There's mullets in this. Mullet. Big mullets. Mm-hmm. Havid. Havre. And obviously Iron Brew as well. So, ah, they say Iron Brew quite a lot. Okay, that was what you were trying to point out. Yeah, That's I cool. should have, okay. maybe... I, no, that makes sense. Thank you. 60 seconds ago is probably where I that should have does. admitted yeah. that this segment isn't working out as that well went as on, I planned. That went on a bit too long, to be honest. I mean, their description might be a little bit better. <laughs> Televisions, bicycles, refrigerators, telephones, and That's... golf. That's not the ingredients. They are many things Scotland has given Just to the world. Know. But perhaps the most iconic is Iron Brew. Paying homage to our great nation, we've recreated Scotland's national soft drink for the second time, which can now give you a hangover as well as cure one. With its distinctive colour and (laughs) flavour, paired with our mouth-watering base beer, this Iron Brew Sour will make you feel more Scottish than Billy Connolly watching Braveheart. And I do. I'm ready for Mel Gibson's Gil Gibson's uh, Gibson's Mel Gibson's fantastic authentic accent um, to ring in my ears. How about you? That was a, that was a good impression. That was actually less Scottish than his accent, which is quite surprising too. I need to work. Okay, time yes. is up. Oh That's geez, oh, that time already. <laughs> Let's finish this bad. I'll get my coat on. Look, you can you can join me because I'm off to Glasgow again to grab a pint of Iron Brew on draft 
mix it up with a little Glen's vodka and voila, my new Scottish party drink. Pour your book fast down the drain. Donate that bottle of Johnny Walker to your local hobo. I've got the recipe for a real classy time. Stu, are you, are you coming with me or not? Or don't seem as enthusiastic as I do. It's at the. I'll, I'll, I'll get you on the next one. <laughs> it's at the Lager Logs. I'll meet you there. <laughs> For all things Lager Logs. Cheers, guy. Uh-